so in one so in one week's time I've seen just so many ice water challenges and it's it's a challenge about the whole ALS loose Garrick Lou Garrick disease and you can basically either donate money or you can just do the ice water which is just filling up a bucket of ice water dumping it over your head and I see it as peer pressure you know because you're you're peer pressuring you're peer pressuring your friends just to do the same and then they do it and it's just a cycle that goes on and I don't have a problem with dumping water over my head with some ice even though it's freezing cold but uh, but I, I, I think that uh, that we as individuals we as people we can we can definitely uh, pressure other people to do good yeah. and I think I think that's what that's what we, sh we should do you know we should pressure people just to do good deeds or just to do other better stuff and me being a Christian I've I put and I posted that in my status that I wonder what would happen if if Christians would peer pressure other Christians just to post a verse or or post their favorite scripture either on YouTube or Facebook and I think that we would have more people coming to becoming Christians and also not a, not only the fact of just uh, Christians but you know but when you post a verse you can encourage a non-Christian because now there's a lot of watered down scriptures there's a watered down verses and other different things like that so I think that doing that is actually a really it's really it's really good and it will bring it definitely bring awareness to the gospel so I see on my Facebook today that I was actually nominated to do a verse challenge so basically what my status was now I have to do a verse challenge and I think that's gonna be good so yeah I'm excited about that then I had another challenge to do a grateful challenge this is actually pretty good and see this is what happens when you when you do good things or rather when you when you want to do good things you know you 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 can be the change that you can see in the world we in the world we're always asking for change we're always asking to do to do good things we're always asking to do different stuff like this and you know what this is our time this is our this is our moment to do to do good and to really see good things come to pass so I'm happy about that so the verse I'm using is Habakkuk 3 verse 17 through 18 though the fig tree may not blossom nor fruit beyond the vines, though the labor of the oil may fail, and the fields yield no food, though the flock may be cut off from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls, yet I will trust in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength. He will make my feet like deer's feet, and will make me walk on high heels. The reason why I chose this verse, it's all about trusting in God, and it's a hymn of faith. And... The prophet within this verse, he was really trusting in God that whatever happened, that God was still going to get his back. He was still going to have his back and that God was still going to make a way when there seemed to be no way. Because he's saying though all these things may, may turn out bad or may happen, he's saying that in verse 18, yet he will still rejoice in the Lord. Meaning, yet I will still trust in the Lord. Yet even though stuff bad, may, bad stuff may happen, I'm still going to put my faith in God. I'm and that the joy of the Lord is going to be my salvation. And he says, within verse uh, 19, uh, just, there are, there's three things that, that he says that the Lord will promise to him, you know. He said that the Lord, the Lord God is, is my strength. So he's saying that his strength doesn't come from human strength. His strength doesn't come from man-made strength. It's, it's solely from God because God is his strength. God helps him in his weakness, just like God helps us in our weaknesses. He will make my feet like deer's feet. If you really research the deer's hoofs, the, and there's other versions that says like hind's feet, and when you when you really uh, search in the verse, when you really search in uh, about the deer's feet, you can really understand why he says that. Because deer's feet are well, research it. I'm not I'm not one misquoting up there, so research that. And then the last part, he says, he will make me walk on high heels. That means that on high places, you know, that, that God is going to set, set him up. It's not that God is going to 
uh, let him still walk through the valley. No, God is going to allow him to walk on high heels, and he's going to, he's going to, that God is going to lead him through those high places, and God won't let him let him go. So, so that was the, uh, so that's Habakkuk three seventeen through. 19. If you see this video, that means you, you, you've been challenged, but I'm going to challenge uh, directly three people, but I won't mention it in the video since it's going, since it's going live to YouTube, but, and even after the challenge, I would challenge you just to not just one day do the challenge, but do it every other week or every week. Post up a verse that you read. Once you read something, you think about that scripture, you do some research on that scripture, and you post it up. You say, oh, this is what this verse is telling me, or this is what I received in my spirit about this verse. And continue just to share verses, continue just to put the truth out there, because we need the truth out there. A lot of people have just taken the word and diluted, have taken the word and watered it down, but we need to be the truth out there. We need to have the truth of God on the internet, on our Facebook pages, on our Instagram pages. When we like something we need to we need to like something that's that's of Christian value. Not something that's just going to uh, you know and I you know, okay. So once again, whoever I challenge and if you see this video, you've been challenged. So check out some verses, read it. And put it up there on the internet, and, and let us let let the world know what what what's, what, what, what you're thinking. So that's my that's my video. Hopefully you guys like it. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Comment, like, share, do whatever you want. Dislike it if you want to. I uh, hopefully not, because it's not my word. It's the word of God. So blessings. Be blessed, y'all.